I gripped the steering wheel tightly as I glanced at the clock. 2.37 a.m. The rain drummed relentlessly on the windshield, creating a mesmerizing dance of blurred lights on the dark, winding road ahead. I knew I should have left the party early, but I got carried away, lost track of time. Now, the consequences of my decision seemed to haunt me like malevolent spirits. The highway was deserted, and the eerie silence was only broken by the occasional hooting of an owl. My headlights cut through the gloom, revealing an endless stretch of trees on either side, each branch appearing to stretch towards me like gnarled, skeletal hands. An unsettling feeling crept over me, like I was being watched by unseen eyes lurking within the shadows. As I drove, the fog began to rise from the ground, engulfing the road in a thick, swirling mist. I squinted, trying to make out any landmarks, but everything seemed to blend into the haze. Doubt gnawed at my mind, and I wondered if I had taken a wrong turn somewhere. I checked my GPS, but it displayed no signal, leaving me stranded in this eerie isolation. An unsettling chill crawled up my spine, urging me to turn back, but my pride refused to let fear consume me. I pressed on, convincing myself that I could handle this unsettling situation. Minutes passed, but it felt like an eternity. The rain intensified and the fog thickened, shrouding everything in a ghostly cloak. Panic started to creep into my heart as I realized there was no sign of civilization. No street lights, no road signs, just an endless desolate road leading me further into the abyss. Then a flicker of movement caught my eye in the rearview mirror. I saw a shadowy figure standing in the middle of the road, barely visible through the torrential rain. My heart pounded in my chest, and I slammed on the brakes, skidding to a stop just inches from the mysterious figure. Are you okay? I called out, my voice trembling. The figure didn't respond, just stood there, unmoving. Fear consumed me, but curiosity got the better of me. I cautiously stepped out of the car and approached the silhouette. My breath hitched when I saw that it was a woman, her pale face barely visible through her soaked, tangled hair. Miss, are you lost? I asked, my voice barely above a whisper. She turned to face me, her eyes empty and devoid of life. Before I could react, she let out an ear-piercing scream that sent shivers down my spine. Without warning, she vanished into the mist, leaving me paralyzed with terror. I scrambled back into my car, heart pounding like a drum, and floored the accelerator, desperate to escape this nightmarish encounter. But no matter how fast I drove, I couldn't shake the feeling that something sinister was lurking just beyond my sight. As I drove, I felt the car shudder and the engine sputtered. Panic consumed me as the vehicle slowed to a crawl. I tried restarting it, but it was futile. My heart sank as I realized that I was completely stranded in this forsaken place. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw movement on the road ahead. A group of shadowy figures emerged from the fog, their eyes glowing like embers in the darkness. They surrounded the car, their menacing silhouettes casting eerie shapes on the windows. I locked the doors and desperately searched for my phone, hoping to call for help, but it was nowhere to be found. I was trapped at the mercy of whatever malevolent presence was haunting this forsaken stretch of road. One of the figures, taller and more imposing than the others, approached my window. His face was obscured by a tattered hood, but his chilling laughter filled the air. So lost, so afraid, he whispered, his voice sending icy tendrils down my spine. I tried to speak to beg for mercy, but my voice failed me. The figures closed in, their malevolence suffocating me. In that moment of dread, I knew I should have turned back. But it was too late for regrets now. The night had swallowed me whole, and the horrors that awaited me in the darkness would be my eternal torment. I never thought my ordinary drive home at night could turn into a harrowing nightmare. It was one of those misty, moonless nights when the shadows seemed to play tricks on the road. My car's headlights cut through the darkness, revealing only patches of the eerie, winding path ahead. As I ventured deeper into the desolate countryside, an unsettling feeling crept up my spine. The radio played a haunting melody, adding to the ominous atmosphere. Goosebumps danced on my skin, and I tried to shake off the growing unease by turning up the heater. The road ahead seemed endless, stretching into infinity. But in the distance, a dim, flickering light caught my attention. It appeared to be a small, isolated gas station, a beacon of hope in this obscure landscape. Relieved, I quickened my pace, eager to reach the safety of its glow. However, as I approached, the light seemed to wane, 
as if the station was disappearing before my eyes. Fear tightened its grip on my heart, and my foot instinctively eased off the gas pedal. But before I could contemplate turning back, the station suddenly reappeared, brighter than before. It was as if the road itself was playing tricks on my mind. For a moment I considered ignoring the strange occurrence and pushing forward, but curiosity got the better of me. Against my better judgment, I pulled into the seemingly deserted station. The air felt colder here, and an unnatural silence filled the night. As I stepped out of the car, a shiver ran down my spine. The eerie glow of the station's light revealed a scene frozen in time. Abandoned fuel pumps stood like silent sentinels, and cobwebs hung like drapes across the windows. It was like stepping into a forgotten era. I glanced around, trying to shake off the feeling that I was being watched. But there was no one around, and the sound of my own footsteps echoed through the silence. I approached the old creaky door to the station's convenience store, hesitating before pushing it open. Inside, the air was musty, and the shelves were lined with dusty products from a bygone era. The flickering fluorescent light overhead buzzed eerily, casting dancing shadows on the walls. I felt as though I had stumbled upon a time capsule frozen in perpetual twilight. As I made my way through the dimly lit aisles, I noticed a strange figure standing in the corner of the store. It was a gaunt man dressed in ragged clothing staring blankly into the distance. His hollow eyes sent chills down my spine and I wondered if I had stumbled upon a ghostly apparition. Hello? I called out tentatively, my voice barely above a whisper. The figure remained motionless, almost as if he were an illusion. Suddenly the figure turned its head towards me, and a ghastly smile stretched across his face. Lost souls, seeking refuge, he muttered, his voice a haunting whisper. My heart pounded in my chest and I felt a cold sweat forming on my brow. I took a step back, my mind urging me to leave this place and never look back. But something held me captive, as though an invisible force anchored me to the spot. Before I could gather my thoughts, the man disappeared into thin air, leaving behind an echoing laughter that seemed to reverberate through the very fabric of reality. The walls of the store seemed to close in on me, and the air grew thick with an oppressive energy. In a panic, I rushed out of the store and back to my car, the haunting laughter still ringing in my ears. As I turned the key in the ignition, the engine sputtered and died. I tried again, but the car remained stubbornly motionless. Frustration turned to terror as I realized I was trapped, stranded in this haunted realm. The misty darkness swallowed me whole, and the road that once felt familiar now seemed like an endless abyss. With each passing moment, the night grew darker, and the malevolent presence around me intensified. I knew then that I was not alone. Something malevolent lurked in the shadows, toying with me, feeding off my fear. I huddled inside my car, praying for the dawn to break and release me from this nightmare. But as the night wore on, I could feel a sinister force drawing nearer, an unseen entity with malevolent intentions. In those desolate hours, I realized I was not merely lost on a deserted road. I had strayed into a realm where darkness ruled, and my only hope for survival lay in facing the terror that awaited me in the heart of the haunted night. Like the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more chilling content. Share your spine-tingling stories with us by sending us email on creepitoutcorner at gmail.com to terrify others together. Stay brave and see you in the next scare.